were either of you soldiers in the war? Of the War of 1812? Did you see that light flicker? Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Project. We will be releasing a video for Spooktober at the end of every month, plus perhaps some bonus videos because we've been getting messages from people recommending haunted places to explore that are in our area. So please don't forget to subscribe. We appreciate your support this far. On this episode of the Blairwick Project, we are visiting Fort George. A haunted fort built in the War of 1812. We went on the ghost tour. And then we did a spirit box investigation at the Drummond Hill Cemetery where a lot of soldiers were allegedly buried and we got some pretty cool results. A ghost actually said my name, say my name. which is crazy. I have to make note of something here, as real as it gets, and you'll notice in the video, I was freaked out. Genuinely scared. There was something on the right side of me creeping me out, and you'll see it on the footage. He was very unsettled the whole time. And I'm usually not too spooked out about those things. I'm still a skeptic throughout everything, even though we have had paranormal experiences, but there's some things we cannot explain, so I'm super excited to show you guys, but first, we are starting at Marshall's with some hashtag spooky stuff on the shelves, so we hope you enjoy. Turn on your notification bell so you never miss an episode. Hey everyone, welcome. Behind me is the famous Fort George here in Niagara on the Lake home to some of the soldiers who have died in the War of 1812. I have this book called Haunted Ontario and I'm going to read an excerpt from it. Some visitors see the dead who occupied the site during the War of 1812. The wide range of phenomena haunts the fort, from rapping, knocking, cold spots and footsteps, moaning, crying, scents and strange breezes. Many people experience overwhelming feelings of terror, sorrow, anguish and nausea. The psychokinetic phenomena includes piano playing, furniture moving, Doors opening and shutting, poking and playing with people's hair. At the gift shop over here, I think it looks like a gift shop, was the site of a 60 bed hospital. Many of the dismembered arms and legs were buried just outside back of this building. So I don't know if they've received proper burials. It's like parts of them, wounded. The most haunted blockhouse and the largest is number two. Visitors report seeing shadows at the tunnel at Fort George. And the mirror in the officer's quarters of Fort George sometimes contains the image of a woman and this female spirit is described as having long curly hair. There's people who have been running the ghost tour since 1994 and have seen some things that have really affected them. We have known someone who have gone on this tour and saw apparitions of soldiers, orbs, and since it's such a historic land, we're really excited to see what's to come. So I hope you join us. What is up everyone? We just came back from our Fort George ghost tour. It was awesome. Once you walked in, like it felt like the energy changed completely from where we were. Our ghost tour was dramatic and invested and it was very informative and we had fun. What did you think? Creepy, historical, and sad. Very. So I hope you guys enjoyed the clips from that. We are now at Drummond Cemetery. We're very respectfully situated up here. It's a holiday weekend, so it is absolutely packed in Niagara Falls, but we seem to have this whole graveyard to ourselves. So we're going to do a spirit box session. Before we do that, we wanted to give you a little bit of information about the cemetery. It is a nationally recognized heritage site, most famously known as the battlegrounds of the Battle of the Lundy's Lane, as well as the burial site of Laura Secord. Chocolates. <laughs> we couldn't find her grave. We'd have to really go around with our flashlight. And so we kind of situated Morse. near Morse. 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 So we don't know if it's a fallen soldier because apparently a lot of soldiers are buried here. Those of five soldiers dressed in the Royal Scots uniform have been seen limping across the cemetery and disappearing in the distance. An operation of three battle weary British soldiers have also been 
seen moving up Drummond Hill towards the old Lundy house, which was used as rest stop and hospital during the war. Do you think that's the Lundy's house right there? Very possible. I, I think it know. is. It's very, very historic here. So they do say that spirits don't always stay in a graveyard. Like, why would they stay where they're buried when they can just, like, roam the earth? But we do want to try to communicate with them with this app. Let's get started. And have a sip of tea. Someone in here. I should go. <coughs> Way to yeah. blow my cover. Yeah, they're just like bike riding. Nobody's got time for anxiety. My I am app just came open with that affirmation. This app freaks me out. Ooh. Okay. Oh, I did not like that immediately. Hello. Spirits of light. If there's anyone here. Hi. Hi. Right away. Did you hear that? Hi. Hi, how are you? Hello? Yeah. I heard a little kid. Are you here with us? Don't. Don't. Did you have? What's your name? Ian. Ian? Okay. That's what I heard. Is there an Ian with us tonight? What? Do you know where you are, Ian? I don't. Do you know you're in Canada? You're in Ontario. He, did you hear that? He said Canada. One at a time, please. Are you are you at peace? Hi. Oh my gosh. Did you hear that? That was creepy. It was very creepy. Kevin. Kevin, were, were either of you soldiers in the war? Of the War of 1812? Did you see that light flicker? Was that you flickering the light up there? Ew, I hate, I hate the whispers. Did you die in the battlefield? Here. Are you here with us? Brothers. Brothers. Mm -hmm. Were you brothers in the war? Awesome. Spirit. <laughs> Spirit. How many fingers am I holding up? Can you see how many fingers I'm holding up? Two! He said two! Did you hear that? He said two. I know, but he said two. So you, he can see us. That's creepy enough. <laughs> Well, thank you for communicating with us. Hi, hello, it's been a pleasure. Do you know who won the war? Acid. Is Ian still there with us? Carol. No, well, what's, what's your name? Any soldiers hanging around here tonight? Will. Do you know the name of the cemetery? Oh, it looks like okay. Does that happen normally? I don't. I don't think so. Because Rick uses this when he delivers, and uh, it's like, flickered yeah. twice. It's flickered twice. Now. Could be a bug though. No? I don't know. Did she say Blair? I, I literally that. heard Blair. Okay, I heard my name. That's actually very creepy. Hello, yes, it's me. How are you? Ooh, is that good or bad? I don't know. I just can't believe she said my name. There's someone over there. Imagine living there with someone coming out of that house. What? Yeah. Is that a soldier or is that one of who's living there? Are you with your family now? Yes, okay. Are you reunited with your family? Okay, good. Good, I'm glad to hear that. There's a lot of you here. Well, I'd like to thank you for your time. Can you say good night? Good night, guys. Goodbye. Help. Help. No, I can't help you. It's time to rest. 
Well guys, that was creepy. I can't wait to look back to see if they actually said my name. And also this light flickering, I mean, unexplained, but definitely a successful cemetery session. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a great night. Bye.